In this video, let me consider one numerical on initial condition. In the network shown below, steady state has been reached with switch K on position A. The switch is moved to position B at T equal to 0. Determine I di by dt d square i by dt square at t equal to 0 plus. This is the given circuit. Here we can see that the switch k is connected to position a and this switch will move to position b at t equal to 0. It is also said that the circuit has been reached steady state when it is connected to position a. It means that when circuit is in steady state, inductor acts like short circuit and capacitor acts like open circuit. So here at steady state, inductor acts like short circuit. That is at steady state, inductor acts like short circuit. So in that case, let me redraw the circuit considering inductor as a short circuit that is I can draw it as so here it is connected to 100 volt source so this is position A this is switch and here we have a register there was an inductor it is short, short circuited so this is the circuit when it is at steady state so as switch is connected to position A, there is no voltage in the capacitor. So voltage across this capacitor is zero. So now let me find current in the circuit. So here the register value is one ohm. This is one ohm. So let me assume the current in the circuit is I of zero minus. That is before switching operation, we will consider current as I of zero minus. So I can find I of 0 minus is equal to V by R that is 100 divided by 1 which is equal to 100 amps. But also we know that the immediately after switching operation the time is I of 0 plus which is same as I of 0 minus which is nothing but 100 amps. Here also we can observe that the voltage across capacitor here as capacitor is connected to position B, so before switching operation voltage across capacitor is 0. So we can say Vc of 0 minus is equal to 0 which is same as Vc of 0 plus. Now let us consider how circuit looks when at t equal to 0. So at t equal to 0, the switch is moved to position B, the circuit looks like this. That is at t greater than 0 the equivalent circuit is shown below so here we have register that is 1 ohm and here we have inductor of 1 Henry this is position B here there is a capacitor and its value is we have 0 0.1 farad 0 0.1 farad so this is the equivalent circuit when T is greater than 0 that is at T equal to 0 switch will move to position B then this 100 volt will become open so it will not be considered so now let me apply KVL to this circuit. Let me assume current through this circuit is I of T. Let me apply KVL to this loop. Apply KVL to this circuit. So here this is nothing but R value. So this is L value and this is capacitor value. Let me apply KVL. So I can write. 0 is equal to I of T into R plus voltage across inductor is L D of T by DT plus voltage across capacitor is 1 over C integration of I of T into DT. 
so now considering the time at t equal to 0 plus that is now at t equal to 0 plus let me call this as equation 1 0 plus equation 1 can be written as so I can write it as 0 is equal to r into i of 0 plus plus we have l d i of 0 plus by dt plus 1 over c integration of i of 0 plus into dt. So here we can observe that this is nothing but voltage across capacitor that is nothing but Vc of 0 plus and anyhow we know that I of 0 plus is 100 amp Vc of 0 plus is 0. So this term will become 0. Now let me substitute the values 0 is equal to R value is 1 into I of 0. So already we have found I of 0 that is here I of 0 is nothing but 100 amp. So it is 1 into 100 plus now we are supposed to calculate di of 0 plus by dt we should keep it as it is the value of l is 1 that is 1 di of 0 plus by dt plus the value of this is vc of 0 plus vc of 0 plus is 0 so therefore we can calculate ti of 0 plus by dt is equal to I'll take 100 on other side it will become minus 100 ampere per second so this is first derivative of current so according to the question we have found i of 0 plus and we have found di of 0 plus by dt so let's calculate d square i of 0 plus by dt square so here if we differentiate this equation number one then we will get d square i of t term so let me differentiate equation one that is differentiate equation 1 so here this is 0 differentiation of i of t is di of t by dt so we can write 0 is equal to di of t by dt into r plus l d square i of t by dt square plus differentiation of here integration and differentiation will get cancelled, will get i of t by c. So that is i of t by c. So now at, at t equal to 0 plus, this equation can be written as 0 is equal to di of 0 plus by dt into r plus we have l d square i of 0 plus by dt square plus we have i of 0 plus by c. Now let me substitute the values that is 0 is equal to so already we have found di of 0 plus by dt that is minus 100 its value is minus 100 into r r is 1 ohm plus l is 1 henry into d square i by dt square this we supposed to calculate keep it as it is d square i of 0 plus by dt square plus i of 0 plus means already we have found that is 100 so which is 100 divided by c c value is given in the circuit that is 0 0.1 per unit this is 0 0.1 so therefore let me simplify this <coughs> therefore we can write d square i of 0 plus by dt square is equal to I will take this 100 on other side 100 minus we have 100 divided by 0 0.1 so simplifying this we will get minus 900 ampere per second square so therefore I can write all the consolidated answers as therefore I can write I of 0 plus is equal to 100 amps, di of 0 plus 
by dt is equal to minus 100 amps per second and d square i of 0 plus by dt square is equal to minus 900 amperes per second square. This is the required result. Thank you for watching.